Hello students, today we are going to start hydrocarbons from your class 11 syllabus. I will not be taking the entire portion of this chapter, but only the portions which are required for class 12, we will be focusing mostly on that. So let's begin. Hydrocarbons as the name suggests, you can understand they are compounds of carbon and hydrogen only. So there is a wide range of compounds fall under this category. So when we classify them, you know, we have three categories under this. We have saturated hydrocarbons called paraffins, commonly known as alkanes. Then number two, we have unsaturated hydrocarbons. They are called olefins. Olefins are further divided into alkenes and alkynes. And the third class of compound is aromatic hydrocarbons. Uh, this uh, particular classification we have discussed in class 11 also. Now let us begin with alkane. <coughs> the general formula of alkane is Cn H2 ice n plus 2 where n is greater than or equal to 1. So you keep replacing the value of n by 1, 2, 3, 4 and you can create the homologous series for alkanes. The next topic is nomenclature and isomerism. So last time we have not done the isomerism as it was deleted from that portion, but uh, I told you in the next chapter we need to do little bit of isomerism we have done in class 10, but now we have to do little bit more in detail. So what is isomerism and what are isomers? As you can see here compounds having same molecular formula and different structural formula are called isomers. And this phenomenon that compounds can have same molecular formula but structurally they will be different, this phenomenon is called isomerism. So when you broadly classify the types of isomerisms are structural and stereo. They are broadly classified into two categories, structural and stereo. Under structural we have four more types, number one chain isomerism, number two position isomerism, number three functional isomerism and number four metamerism. Alkanes exhibit only chain and position isomerism as there is no functional group so they cannot exhibit functional isomerism also. Metamerism is little difficult to understand we will discuss it whenever it is needed right now we shall not skip it. Then stereoisomerism. Stereoisomers are of two types geometrical and optical. By stereo we mean molecules have same molecular formula strict same structural formula but their orientation in space when you view them from space they look different. So under this we have geometrical isomers little bit we have done last year also I mean last time also. Uh, geometrical isomers are again classified further into cis isomer and trans isomer. And the last category is optical isomerism. Optics as the name suggests their behavior towards light. Compounds having same molecular formula, same structural formula but when uh, exposed to certain kind of light they behave differently. Such isomers are called optical isomers. Under this we have two categories again dextro rotatory I have not written here rotatory so simply you can write dextro or simply written as small d or plus and levo small l or minus. So this is broadly how we have different types of isomers. Now alkanes as I already mentioned they exhibit only chain and position isomerism. Now what are chain isomers? As the name suggests you can uh, correlate compounds having same molecular formula but their chain length will be different. As you know when you name the organic compounds you first rule you apply is identify the longest chain. When two compounds having same molecular formula but the ma main chain length is different such isomers are called chain isomers. A very very common example is C4H10. You know C4H10 can be written as CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3 which we call butane. In common name system we call it N-butane that is normal butane and the other one with a branch and one more thing you have to remember branch cannot be in the terminal carbons. Okay, So we create the branch in the middle carbon as you can see here. We have CH3, CH and uh, we have a, a branch in carbon 2, another CH3 and when you make the branch make sure that line which you draw that must connect carbon and carbon, not anywhere else wherever you feel like. Okay, 
So when you identify the longest chain here, it has a chain of 1, 2 and 3 carbons. So the parent name will be prop, word root will be prop. And since we have a branch here, we have to name the branch and it is a CH3 group which is known as methyl group. Position of the methyl group is carbon 2, so name is 2 methyl propane. I just split the names again, 2 methyl because methyl group is attached to carbon 2, prop because there are 3 carbons in the longest chain, ane because it belongs to alkane family. So this is a very common example of uh, chain isomer. Then we have position isomers. I think you can again correlate compounds having same molecular formula but position of a particular functional group or alkyl group is different. Such compounds are called position isomers. Here I give you an example C6H14. If you check the molecular formula which is the general formula of alkane CnH2 isen plus 2. If I replace this N by if I replace this N by 6 then how many hydrogens should be there? 6 to the 12 plus 2 that is 14. So, we have taken an alkane having 6 carbon. So, the first molecule compound I write here having a 5 carbon as the longest chain and I create a branch in carbon 2. So, name of this is 2 methyl and since longest chain is having 5 carbon so it is pent and it is an alkane so in 2 methyl pentane take care of the hyphens the hyphen should be placed between name and number. Now what is the other possible formula with the same compound? You can see now I have shifted the position of the methyl group to carbon 3. So now methyl group is in carbon 3. So what will be the name? Name of this compound will be 3 methyl pentane. So in what way they differ? They differ in the position of the methyl group. So they are position isomers. I give you another example of position isomer but that is not of alkane but just to make you uh, understand the position isomerism. I have taken a compound CH3, CH2, CH2, CL. Another is CH3, CH, CL, CH3. If you look at this both having same carbon chain length both are having three carbons as the longest chain but the position of chlorine in the two compounds are different. Here chlorine is attached to carbon 1 so name of this is 1 chloropropane. In the other one, position of chlorine is in carbon 2. Chlorine is attached to carbon 2. So, name of this is 2 chloropropane. So, if two compounds are position isomers, everything in their names will be same except the position except for the position of the functional group. Remember the word root should be same. By word root, what we mean? Word root indicates the number of carbons in the longest carbon chain. So, these are the two common isomerism exhibited by alkanes. Now, let us create the homologous series and try to understand the isomerism for different alkanes. You see, when we replace N to be equal to 1, the first compound which we get is CH4. It has having 1 carbon, so word root is meth. And since it is alkane, so we have to end the name with ane. So, name of this compound is methane. And there is no other possible formula with this, so it does not have any isomer. Then when n is equal to 2, we have the molecular formula C2H6 and if we, get, if we express it in the condensed form, then it is CH3CH3. Name of this compound is ethane because there are two carbons, so what it should be eth, it is an alkane, so ended with suffix is ane. When n is equal to 3, then we have C3H8 which can be written as CH3, CH2, CH3. If you write it structurally then you will know that which carbon should have how many hydrogens. But every time you write the structure make sure that you the total number of carbons and hydrogens tally the molecular formula. So here you can see we have 3 plus 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 altogether 8 hydrogens. And name of this compound is propane. It also does not have any possibility to write another structure so it does not have any isomer. Isomerism begins from n equal to 4. As just now we have discussed there are two possible structures with carbon 4. One is butane, another is 2 methylpropane. And what kind of isomerism they exhibit? You see in their names what is different? The first one has a word root but, the second one has a word root prop. So they differ in chain length 
हेन्स दे आर चेन आइसोमार्स नाउ कैन आई टेक एन टू बी इक्वल टू फाइव सी फाइव एच टुएल्व यू कैन सी वी गेट थ्री पसिबल स्ट्राक्चार्स वन स्ट्राक्चार उथथ कार्बन चेन लेंथ एस कार्बन फाइव सो अल द कार्बन आर लिंक टू वन एंड अदर नेम अफ दिस इज पेन्टेन कमन नेम इज एन पेन्टेन नर्मल पेन्टेन सेकेंड स्ट्राक्चर आई हेव रिटर्न बै कीपिंग द कार्बन चेन फोर एंड क्रिएटिंग अ ब्रांच एट कार्बन टू सो इट इज टू मिथाइल ब्यूट एन ब्यूट बिकज देर आर फोर कार्बन इन द लंगेस्ट चेन द कमन नेम फर दिस पर्टिकुलर कम्पाउंड उल बी आईसो पेन्टेन वाई आईसो आर्लियर आई टोल्ड यू हाउ टू नेम आईसो आईसो मीन्स वेन टू सी एच थ्री ग्रुप्स आर एटैच टू वन कार्बन यू कैन सी दिस इज वन सी एच थ्री दिस एन अदर सी एच थ्री both the ch3s are attached to one carbon then such system is named as iso in the common name system and altogether it has five so it is iso pentane the third possible structure with the same molecular formula is we make a carbon chain of three and in the second carbon we make to create two branches there should not be any hydrogen in the central carbon and you can see again that it is having altogether 12 hydrogens and five carbons so name of this particular compound is 2 comma 2 hyphen dimethyl propane now just i'm revising all these names we have done last year why 2 comma 2 because at two position there are two methyl groups so two number 2 we write twice 2 comma 2 two numbers should be separated by a comma and in two position what we have which functional group we have here we have alkyl group and which alkyl group this alkyl group is methyl group so it is 2 2 hyphen dimethyl longest chain is having three carbon so prop it is an alkane so ane 2 2 dimethyl propane common name is neopentane n e o remember when you write the common names it should be all small letters all right neo when we say when one carbon is attached to four other carbons such a system is called neo so it is neopentane and what kind of isomerism these three molecules are showing they all exhibit chain isomerism because the first one is having five carbon in the longest chain second one is having four carbon in the longest chain and third one is having three carbon in the longest chain so they exhibit chain isomerism now i have given you a homework please try to finish it off write all the possible isomeric structures of alkanes having molecular formula c6h14 also find the isomeric relationship between the different pair of compounds now i have given you a hint that there you will get five different structures make sure that the structures are not repeated all right you will get five different structures and you will identify the relationship between each pair suppose you get 1 2 3 4 5 structures what kind of isomerism is shown between 1 and 2 then 1 and 3 1 and 4 1 and 5 make a table uh, make a table and uh, submit it to me you will send the work to me okay and you will find in your textbook there are some num uh, some problems no numericals in organic as you know problem number 13.4 and 13.5 you will you will do it is a, it is a homework and i'll be happy if you send your work to me next we move to i think i'm 